So today I want to talk to you guys about my entire streaming setup that I have here at home. With the setup, I've been able to create YouTube videos effectively. I've been able to, to live stream with friends from really all over locations and have high quality feeds from them as well as from my side as well. So let's go through this entire setup so that I can show you exactly how I accomplish this. Okay, so first let's dive into the streaming part and then we'll just go through all the parts that make this work. You can also use everything that I'm talking about today to just make regular YouTube videos as well. Okay, so first I use Riverside. As you can see right here, I have two cords plugged into my computer that connect the cameras and then it also connects to roadcaster which is very important so when i use riverside basically what i like about it is that i'm able to you know be able to have those high quality recordings from not only my side of things but also theirs as well so if i go in here and i select 4k I can get all the way up to 4K um, recordings and then I'm going to be using my Rodecaster to make sure that this audio that you're listening to now is going through. Now whenever I send a link to my guest, not only are their recordings going to record to the cloud, but it's also going to record um, to their computer locally and then upload. That's really important because that means that, you know, if you get those glitches or things like you would see in Zoom, you're not going to have that on your final recording. It's still going to be really high quality because it's going to upload from their computer um, high quality video and then to the cloud for you to download wherever you are okay so to make this entire setup work I have the Sony FX3 right here and what I actually have done is installed a LUT right on the screen over here let's see if I can tap it so they can get a little bit better so that's an actual finished final LUT and I literally just record with that I broadcast with that LUT that gets me everything that I need now typically I may have another camera like over here that's the Sony a7 IV that I'm recording with right over there um, that is the Sony FX30 that I'm recording with and so typically I'll use the Sony FX30 because I'm able to do the same thing that I'm doing on the FX3 and being just ba basically be able to have my final um look that I want for the video coming right out of the camera. Now right over here we have the Rodecaster Pro 2 and this is a very very important piece of this entire setup. The reason for that is because I'm using the SM7B and with this microphone you typically need additional hardware like a cloud lifter to make it actually sound like it's supposed to. So straight out the box you really shouldn't be using this microphone you you have to have some additional hardware and so with this board it's powerful enough to handle those um this microphone to where i can literally just plug one cable into this mic and go right into the board and then also i'm able to have sound effects over here during my live streams or even while i'm recording i'm also able to use this phone right here to play royalty fury music directly here on a bluetooth channel and i can turn that up and down all from the board now the other thing is you see right there on this one this channel right here that is where my remote guest audio is and so i can only have on headphones um, and listen to everything that I need to from every different channel. So that is why I love the Rodecaster Pro 2. And again, to connect it to the computer, I just am running that one USB-C cable. Now, going to the lighting setup, right up here I have the 200D. It's extremely overkill for this setup because it is only at like 20% right now. So you can use the Amaran 60D, which is a tiny little light. Um, it'll give you everything that you need as well. But I have a very small, I think it's a 24 inch Octodome on here right now with a grid to help control that light spill. And then behind me, I have two tube lights from Amaran. Um, one is the bright version, so like the black bar that they have, that's the brightest one. Um, and then the white one is the one that looks like good on screen. And so that's why I have this one on screen over here. And they're both four foot. That's what gets me in kind of the RGB look. Now the sign up here, it actually, you probably can't see it. I haven't fixed it yet because it's too bright, but it says good vibes. So I got that from Amazon as well. I think it was only like 24 bucks. And then kind of the uh, mastermind or the thing holding everything together is from Flagpoint. I purchased extra 
um, kind of mounts so that I can go up and down with the camera. And then the roadcaster is also mounted on here as well as the light as well and my phone. So that is pretty much it. I have everything running into the computer and that gives me everything that I need to stream with and have high quality audio. Oh, lenses. So right now on the FX30, uh, or FX3 that I'm recording on, it is a 24 millimeter. Let's see if it can focus up. Yeah, it's a 24 millimeter 1.4 lens. Um, and I typically shoot at 1.4. Right now I have it at 1.8 um, because it's, it's just, it'll be way too bright over here. But having that LUT baked in, just ready to go, makes it super easy for recording directly into um, any type of, whether you're using StreamYard or Riverside. But I really do like Riverside so far for streaming. Um, and it also gives you the option to go directly to YouTube. So that is my setup. I'm trying to think, did I leave out anything? I think that's everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, you can find everything in this video that I may not have mentioned like I'm already looking at one of them I power the camera through DC so I don't have to worry about batteries there's an HDMI cable here there's a cam link 4k that's how I get um, the 4k signal so all of those things I will be leaving in the description below um, and if you guys have any questions just let me know as well until next time if you guys are interested in some of the podcasts that I've been recording out of this whole setup I recommend that you check out this video or this playlist right over here